everyone and welcome back to my channel Lash with Lex. Today's video is going to be a mega volume wispy tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and get right into this video. I clean my client's lashes off camera but I'm just going to apply the primer and use my fan and brush until it's fully dry. Okay, before we start this video, I want to go ahead and show you all how we're going to be making our wispy spikes. So I'm going to be using this brand Fat Lash, and you can get this from Amazon as well. I am using the 0.07 volume fan tray. I would not recommend to use 0.05 or 0.03 for wispy spikes because it's not going to give you the bold pointy look that we're going for. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and give the lashes a good brush through. I'm going to be using my volume fan tweezer to pick up a few lashes as so. You just want to get a couple lashes and instead of pinching the base as if we're making a fan, we are going to pinch the top and close the fan. And this is how we're going to be making our spikes. I always tell people there's no right or wrong way to make a wispy spike. If it works for you, it works for you. I personally love this method. I think it's fairly easy, especially for beginners, and it's always worked for me. But if you didn't get that in the first go round, we're going to go ahead and go over this again before we get into this video. So you want to grab a few lashes and instead of pinching the base as if we're going to be making a volume fan, we are going to pinch the top of that fan to close the fan. And that is how we achieve the wispy spike look. After my client's lashes are completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and tape down her bottom lashes. I absolutely love using these foam tapes because they pretty much get most of the bottom lashes out of the way. If there's any left over, I'm just going to go in with a piece of tape to tape down the remainder of the bottom lashes. And I also like using this method because it allows the foam pad to stay in place. Another thing I always suggest is to make sure your client's bottom lashes are completely taped down prior to starting the application process and you definitely want to make sure the tape down is comfortable for your client. If not, you do want to adjust that for the client's liking. Before I start any lash set, I like to use this tape up method where I place a piece of tape on the outer corner and the inner corner of the client's lashes. It's going to give our client's lashes a lift before we start the application process. And this is especially good if your client's lashes point down or if they're just really straight. The next thing I like to do is lash map my client's lashes. This is completely optional, but I definitely recommend it, especially for a wispy set. I'm going to just do a 14, 15, 16, 17, and I'm going to draw a line where I'm going to be placing my wispy spikes throughout the tutorial. For this particular mega volume set, I'm going to go ahead and place my wispy spikes first. This is completely optional, but I do want to just go ahead and get it out of the way. I do believe there is a technique to placing wispy spikes. I believe this should always be done at the top layer of the client's lashes. This is going to make the wispy spikes stand out a lot more. And because a mega volume set is more bold, we definitely want to make sure our wispy spikes are just as bold. So instead of placing one wispy spike in each section, I'm going to be placing three spikes right next to each other in each section. This is going to give the wispies a more bold look and it's going to make it stand out a lot more. This will all come together in the end, but it's very, very important to make sure that these spikes are directly next to each other. Okay, the last thing I'm going to go over regarding these wispy spikes is that they need to be at least three millimeters longer than the base. 
So because I'm working in the 17 millimeter section, I am placing 20 millimeter spikes. Of course, you can always go longer, but they need to just be at least three millimeters longer than the base. If you like, you can also go ahead and place your wispy spikes throughout the entire set. Before this video, I'm just going to do section by section. After I place my wispy spikes, I'm going to go ahead and move into placing my volume fans. Keep in mind, this is a mega volume set. So we need to make sure we get every single lash that we possibly can. This is going to give our client the full bolt look that they're looking for. Also, for my volume fans, I am using 0 0.03. I pre-made my fans prior to doing this set because it makes it go by so much quicker. If you're having trouble making these fans, please feel free to use the link in my description on how to make the fans. Okay, so my camera died for a short time and I had no idea, but I went ahead and placed my wispy spikes in my 16 millimeter section. I placed three 19 millimeter spikes directly next to each other for a more bold look. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place my volume fans in my 16 millimeter section and then I'll work my way to the inner corners. Okay, I am officially done with my 16 and 17 millimeter section. As you can see, this set is already looking very full and bold for our client's liking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place my 18 millimeter spikes for my next section. You definitely wanna make sure that these spikes are on the top layer of the client's lashes. This is gonna give the set a more bold look and it's gonna make the wispy stand out a lot more. Also, just a reminder to make sure you are getting every single natural lash that you can. We definitely want to make sure that we give the client a full and bold look for a mega volume set. Please stay tuned for the final look and for the inner corner process.
So we are on the final section. As you can see, I use a piece of tape to pull over my client's eyelid. This is gonna make the inner corners more exposed and just easier to do. I'm gonna go ahead and place my 17 millimeter spikes first. Make sure that you are placing these on the top layer and make sure you are placing at least three wispy spikes for each section. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video up and please use this time to leave a comment if you have any questions and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up.